Hello, Bendy Babes. What's up? And welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to take a look at our March 2020 premium box. I am so excited about this solo brand, which is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna being our premium box. It is just amazing. Rihanna is just one of my very favorite singers. I wanted so bad to put a Rihanna song to start this off. I was very tempted to do just a little piece, but I, it would have taken me forever to figure out how to get a clip. So we'll just not do that. So, But oh my God, I love her. And she is a person that came from Barbados. Uh, a music producer had gone on a trip to Barbados and heard her sing and that's where it started just a natural beautiful talented woman who has really done so well in the music industry and has thus taken on the cosmetics industry Anna's name is actually Robin Rihanna Fenty that's the, the brand Fenty and we're gonna take a look at the products that will be in our premium box in March 2020 We'll take a look at all six products, the possibilities of each different variation in each product, and what I think about them, what the reviews say. We're going to know everything about these products. Before I get into that, remember, if you're not a charmer, you need to get in. If you hurry and get in, it will cost you $25. You'll get the February 2020 box. I'll link my video up above of my review of that box. You can see exactly what you probably get in the box, and also... You can immediately get on that premium wait list and possibly get this box next month. I don't know the probabilities, but you never know till you try. So let's get into those sneak peeks. Our first sneak peek is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. This sells for $36. This is a weightless, long wear, cream to powder hybrid highlighter for the face and eyes in a range of shades. The shade we're getting is Trophy Wife. This is a dazzling, brilliant gold color. This item is free of parabens, phthalates. It's also cruelty free. The whole brand is cruelty free. This cream to powder hybrid melts into the skin and blends with almost no effort. Now looking at it, I wasn't sure how it would do on a very light complected person. But looking at the reviews, there was a lot of reviews that had medium to dark tone that really love it. But they did have some lighter tone people that loved it also. Oh. This highlighter gets a 4.6 out of 5 with 3,225 reviews. Wow. Now looking at the pros and cons, starting with the pros, many people love this highlighter. A lot of people had medium to deep tone skin, but also some light tone people loved it as well. What they liked about the highlighter is it lasts all day, long lasting, huge pan, will last forever, many compliments, it highlights to the gods, looks stunning as eyeshadow. So you can also use this on your lids as an eyeshadow. Now one of the cons, there wasn't many, it's, uh, it said it was chunky. Now. I don't know about that we'll have to see because out of all these people they had one that said it was chunky so I don't know now moving on to the second product I actually yes this product I actually have this palette uh, it's the Moroccan spice eyeshadow palette this sold for $59 when it came out now you can probably buy it for around 29 this eyeshadow palette has 16 long wearing Morocco inspired shades ranging from matte to shimmer finishes perfect for spicing up your look in limitless ways in my personal view the worst drawback of this palette was its price point it came in at sixty dollars and the palette is not huge if you can tell on uh on the screen when people seen it was almost sixty dollars even if it had been like fifty fifty two dollars it would have been better than 59 I think that was one of its drawbacks but looking at its reviews it got a 4.2 out of 5 with 294 reviews some of the pros they love the matte formula uh, beautiful packaging shades vary but buildable beautiful shades great for every day as well as night have to use primer that was one of the things now looking at the cons 
was not easy to blend. One lady was very disappointed. One that thought the shadows were dry. Takes time to build up shadows, but they fade with primer. I think a lot of the shades are different. Some are not that super great. You're gonna have to play with this palette. I think you will enjoy it though. Um, a lot of people had trouble with some of the shades staying on their eyes. I would make sure to use a primer with them. But when I used this palette, I really loved that. That was another thing. They don't have the names of the shades on the palette. You have to look on the bottom of the palette and she has all the shades listed there. So it's hard to talk about them. You have to turn it over. But that shade Saffron, I found very beautiful. And of course, that beautiful teal one. Uh, was pretty but it is a little chunky and then when you do a swatch or put it on your eyes it you have to build everything up so you'll see when you get the palette I think Rihanna needs to do a little bit more with her her shadows and she probably has they have some new ones out which I would love to try do I regret buying this palette at $59 no I don't regret buying it at all because the times I've worn it I love the looks I did love this palette also and the size of the palette is really travel friendly it's not huge it's not too small it's just right and the packaging is beautiful sneak peek number three is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna's Glass Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer in the shade Diamond Milk this sells for $19 and it is the color of Shimmering Pearl this is an ultimate gotta have lip gloss with explosive shine that feels as good as it looks. It's got shea butter, which will condition the lips. It's free of parabens and phthalates, and remember, it's cruelty free. This is a non-sticky formula with super shine and has an addictive peach vanilla scent you just can't get enough of. Rihanna was obsessed with creating the perfect lip gloss that makes you want to put it on over and over again. I made it because I wanted the girls to get kissed more. That is a quote by Rihanna. Now, looking at the pros and cons and reviews, this item, all of the lip glosses together get 4.7 out of 5 stars with 9,826 reviews. Wow. Looking at the verified purchases and only the ones that purchased Diamond Milk, there were several more pros than cons. Some of the cons were... The first one was a light skinned, dark haired girl. And she said that it looked very frosty and it did not complement her lip, natural lip tone. She said it looked like a white bluish tint with gloss on. One lady said it was too thick and it had an unpleasant feeling that kind of tingled. So she brought it back. It's long lasting. And she said, instead of feeling like a, a gloss, it's not sticky and feels like a lip balm instead. It's her new favorite sparkly and moisturizing formula. It's smooth and hydrating. Another one said not sticky. Sparkle lasts long. She reapplies it every hour. So this is supposed to be a really good lip gloss formula. Now looking at the verified purchases, I can tell you the Fenty Glow and the Fussy, I guess it is. It's FU dollar mark dollar mark Y were the most purchased with Fenty Glow being the, the most purchased lip gloss of all. If you're looking at picking up a second one of these, Fenty Glow was like the most bought lip gloss. Next, we have number four from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. It's the Matchstick Shimmer Skin Sticks. These sell for $25 a piece. What are they? These are magnetized, long-wearing shimmer skin sticks that highlight, blush, and enhance. So you can mix and match, magnetize, and multiply. The cream to powder formula is weightless, buildable, and lives to be layered. So you can buy each one of these little sticks. It comes in 15 different shades, but we have, we're getting one of five, the five shades we can possibly receive are confetti, it's an iridescent pearl, Rum is a glazed bronze. Unicorn is a platinum lilac. Blonde is a glimmering gold. And you have chili mango, which is a sun-kissed orange shade. Now, if you notice, some of the pictures 
of the ladies that have the products on in this previous pictures. Um, I think maybe they have multiple products on, but this is how the Fenty site showed the product with some of the same pictures. At first I said, oh, this is not right. It has the same picture, but maybe she's using two of the, two of the products that they're showing. So I just want to mention that. I looked at the details on exactly how to use these. You can swipe it on the back of your hand and like rub it to warm it and then tap it into your face and then maybe finish it with a brush or they recommend their 140 brush to use to apply it to your face. Now I watched the video, it shows that you can actually apply it directly onto your skin. Now looking at the reviews, this gets a 4.5 out of 5 stars. That is very high. With 1,057 reviews, that is a lot of reviews and a high rate. Now you're looking at all of the different shades. So I kind of looked up some reviews on particular shades that we can possibly get. Uh, on Confetti, the pro is it's so freaking pretty definitely recommend buying that one and its consistency is fabulous the shade blondie a con was the stick fell out of the packaging and she said she tried to contact she said she tr she purchased from fenty tried to contact them with no reply this happened after a month so i, I don't know you know you don't know the exact particulars on that that's uh, then you have Chili Mango, and a pro was, she was leery at first of these sticks, but then she, she bit the bullet because she loved Fenty and tried it. She bought Chili Mango, and she just absolutely loved it. She said, it's a blush on your cheekbone, and the color and highlight are simply magical. So she really liked that one. The cons of Chili Mango, one person said they wanted to love it, but did not like the glitter in it. And she said she even had glitter on her, a piece of glitter left after she cleaned her face. The shade Unicorn was great used as a topper and gorge, a gorgeous base for the lip gloss. So you can even use these on your lips. The con is not a lot of product in the container for the price. And then one person tried putting it directly on their face over their foundation and she felt that it wiped all her foundation off. So we'll just have to get these and play with them and try to see how they work. Number five is, sneak peek number five is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Matte Moselle Plush Matte Lipstick. These sell for $18. At $18, it might sound like it's cheap, but looking at the amount that's in the tube, there's only 1.7 grams of lipstick. I picked an expensive brand. I looked at NARS Audacious Lipstick, and it has four grams in the tube at $34. So if you look at Fenty, you're paying $10.58 a gram of lipstick. If you look at NARS, you're actually paying $8 a gram for the lipstick. So actually, gram for gram, NARS is cheaper. So what Fenty does, they make the tube affordable for everyone, but you're not getting a lot of lipstick in these tubes. So you're comparing 1.7 grams to four grams. So you're getting about a half of a lipstick, but I just wanted to let you know that you might have to buy two to make up for the one, but she's making the price point of these items low enough for everybody to afford. This is an ultra slim lipstick with a long wearing, petal soft matte finish created in a rainbow of weightless color intense shades designed to flatter all skin tones this is described as a high octane pigment that meets unexpectedly universal shades to complement all moods all skin tones all day whether you're looking for the perfect red everyday nude or moody blue matte moselle plush matte lipstick makes it easier than ever to rock the entire rainbow without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Of course, it's cruelty free. Lipstick is all about having fun and expressing your mood at any given moment. 
This collection makes it easier than ever because there's a color for everyone, quoted by Rihanna. Okay, we were offered six shades. We will get one of these six shades randomly, I think. Now, the first one is called Clapback. This is an Allure Best of Beauty Award winner. Looking at the reviews, these lipsticks get a 4.5 out of stars with 2,289 comments. Wow. There's 334.5 thousand likes. So these are well-bought, well-liked lipsticks. Now, the reviews are a combination of all of the shades. So I went in and I always look at the verified purchased comments first. Then I go and look at the others. But let's start off with Clapback. First of all, Clapback is a true navy beautiful blue lipstick and this one person had one pro she said she loves the finish love the color and it did not dry out her lips the next shade is called Griselda and this is a bold burgundy I love this shade now looking at the pros and cons pros they love the color it's long-lasting nice color conditions the lips but some of the cons it smudges by the end of the day it was all over my face pretty color but it never fully dries it smears also a do for this one is years ago rihanna did a collab with mac and they created a lipstick called talk that talk which is very similar somebody said in the reviews but the retro matte lipstick was very dry and compared to Rihanna's, hers is very comfortable to wear. Um, it's kind of like a satin finish matte. So if any of you have this lipstick, it does, they don't sell it anymore, but you can find it on Poshmark and places like that. The next shade is called PMS, which is a moody brown. Some of the pros were love the texture and the longevity of the product. It is excellent. Some of the cons were, would not classify as a matte, it's more of a satin. The next shade is Shanti, which is a warm chestnut. Some of the pros and cons to Shanti are, great shade, lots of pigment, did not stay in place. And another review said, it did not stay on. For the longest time, I have been looking for the right brown lipstick. Nothing too gray, nothing too dark, and something with a hint of red. This is it. And ladies, that seems the case. On the li these lipsticks, a lot of people really love them, but you have to reapply often and don't touch your lips. <laughs> don't kiss with them on because your husband or boyfriend or significant other will have lipstick all over their face. Next is Single. Single is a blushing nude. Single is a blushing nude. Everyone needs a perfect nude color. Let's see on the reviews for Single. Much more peachy than she expected. Does not stay on. This is my second lipstick shade I purchased. Goes on the color. It goes on the same color as in the two. Lastly, we have Candy Venom. This is an electric pink. This is beautiful. If you love a bright pink, this is the one for you. This is some of the comments on this one. Smooth application with matte finish. Color so vibrant. Love it. It's perfect. Long lasting. Wow, this one says long lasting. It applies very well and bright. Left a stain when wiped off with a makeup wipe but I didn't mind it. Honestly, one of the best lipsticks I've bought. Wow. Okay. Amazing long lasting. Now this is one that has a one star. It says lovely color, but super patchy and formula settles into lip cracks. The last product in our premium Fenty brand box is the Fenty beauty blotting papers. Now this is sells for $16. This is supposed to be like a sexy way to carry blotting papers in your bag. The canister actually looks like a lipstick tube. 
and it even has a little mirror on one side. It's a continuous scroll paper that lets you pick the correct size that you want. Invisimat makes these papers. It's the Invisimat blotting paper. When you, and what you use these for, uh, you see, I'm a dry type person. I didn't even know about these sort of things <laughs> till probably Fenty came out with these. I have never used a blotting paper on my face, but I have dry skin. Now, you use this when your makeup starts to look too shiny. You just uh, get a piece of this and you dab it onto your skin and it leaves no residue. And I think this may be good for dry skin people also because whenever my face gets too shiny, what I do is grab a compact of finishing powder and add more powder which kind of makes my face look dry. So I think this may be a good thing to try. Instead of using more powder on your face, you can dab it with these blotting papers. And I wanted to mention when it runs out of paper, the refills are $10. And I think the start to this is the paper is very good paper. Um, they talk about how it's made with uh, almost like a satin finish. It's a really good brand but I'm sure they have very cheap blotting papers out there, but they're not gonna be in this super sleek canister that you can just fit into your pocket or your purse. That's the thing there. Some of the pros and cons are, this one lady said she's very oily skin and by the end of the day, her T-zone gets super oily. And then if she leaves it alone, her makeup starts to separate, but she has no more of this because this, these blotting papers have been a lifesaver. What she does, she pulls one of these papers out, dabs it on the oiliness on her face, and it does nothing to her makeup. Her makeup stays put. Another review said it works well, but I have to use a lot of it. And the quality of the paper is amazing. One person said it works, but she has to use so much of it and she finds it expensive. Another person said the quality of the paper is amazing and she also uses it as rolling paper for cigarettes. I thought that was a little odd. So there you have it. As far as the blotting papers, I wish they'd have had a different product from this. I'm going to try it out. I would have never purchased it otherwise. Maybe it's something I will need. I know in the summertime when you put on a full face of makeup to go out for dinner, the minute you walk out your house in Louisiana, the humidity and heat just make you start sweating. So this would be a good thing to have, uh, in, well, year round here, because it's always, it's usually always warm. Thank you all for watching for your giveaway clue. Put in the comments your favorite item out of all the six. You don't have to put completely, you can just put lipstick, shimmer stick, palette, blotting papers, or, or trophy wife highlighter. Just something, just saying what it is. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Please watch the video I'm going to list up above. This video will tell you all about our February giveaway we have going on. This month we're giving away two Tati palettes as well as an Amarizi Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and a Morphe Icy Fantasy palette. I will also list above the playlist for all my February videos. If you haven't been watching them or need to catch up for the giveaway, just click on this playlist and it'll go through all the videos I've put up this month. Please remember on Sunday I'm having a live. I hope you all can attend. March 9th, we're having our add-ons for March. So if you picked in your choice box something that was hard to pick and you want one of the other items, hopefully they will all be in this add-ons. If you're not on my email, list and want to get on my email notification list, all you have to do is email me and ask. Uh, my email is always under every video. It's kendyjane18 at gmail.com. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel. And if you liked my video, please hit that like button. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love each and every one of you guys. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand looking at the sunset. Man, you're looking good.
It's what you're doing, making me feel 